a limit order. When you have a broker, you can ask for a set price for a stock to be purchased at. For instance, ORC right now is a, it had a high today of 603 or 604, ORC did. Uh, it had a low of uh, 593. I put in a limit order for two shares at 590. Well, that's only two shares. Uh, the upside, the upside of ORC, uh, the upside would be when it hits, say it hits that price of 590. I bought two shares or whatever number of shares, it could be 20, 30, 100 shares, whatever it is, at a lower price than it is when it opens. If I put in a market share, first thing I, in the morning, I woke up, brushed my teeth, took my shower, and decided I wanted a market share. I wanted to buy some ORC. And ORC is going around $6. And I say, okay, I'm going to put it in for a market share. It could be six. When I press that button, it could change from six dollars to six oh one to six oh four before it gets purchased. Say it gets purchased at six oh three or six oh four. That's a pretty good price for OC. It's a twelve point nine eight percent at that yield. Uh, if you go down to five ninety, then the odds are it's going to be. It's should, if you do the math right, it, it's probably a little over thirteen or about thirteen, thirteen or a little bit above at 590. So you maximize your yield by doing a limit order. Now it may or may not hit that today. It may or may not hit that tomorrow. It may or may not hit that within the next 15 or 20 days. You can put in a limit order with Vanguard and I'm not too sure about Charles Schwab, the length of time. Uh, Vanguard lets you do a 90 day limit order. I would imagine that Charles Schwab would do a 30, 60, or 90 themselves. I'm not sure. I have to call them up and find out. But doing a limit order will maximize your gains. The only downside risk is if it takes more than 30 days and you miss the X date for the, uh, the dividend. But after that point, all the dividends, the dividend will be the same, but the amount of shares that you will buy will be the yield will be the higher because you did a limit order. If the limit order is 590, the yield should be around 13, a little over 13. If you bought it at 601, it's still 12.98. That's still pretty good. But if you're trying to maximize your gains, listen to this. If you're trying to maximize your gains, it is in your best interest to get the dividend producing stock at the lowest possible price. You can do that with a limit order. Now, if you're in a hurry to load up on the stock, then you'll do a market order. You can do a limit order in the morning. And if you decide not to, to wait, then you can change it to a market order and that's it. It's the way to maximize your gains. If you have patience, if you start buying stock at the lower price, you'll have more money to purchase other stock and you'll have a, a greater yield to purchase more stock. Drips don't deal with that. You don't deal with that with a drip. A drip doesn't deal with that. Drip will buy it at the average price over so, so I think the average price over the course of a day uh, when you use your, when you use your um, stock transfer agent. So it's all, there are many different strategies to increase your wealth, okay? You can harvest more wealth if you're getting paid a higher yield, if you're using $5.90 to buy the six and a half cent dividend, then you have more money to purchase another six and a half dividend later. Limit orders are good. You can set a predetermined price if you were a person who were trying to buy stock at one price and say you want to sell the same stock at a higher price because you were trying to do uh, pay capital gains. Say you wanted to make $10,000. Okay, so you buy the amount of stock that you need. So you buy the stock that you need 
at a certain price and then you sell it at a certain price so you make that ten thousand dollars you can sell you can say well i want to sell my stock i'm buying it at 11 i want to sell it at 15. it may never get to 15. it may get to 15. say you buy it at 11 and you say you want to sell it at 13 because the stock is real volatile so you do a limit out of 11 and then you make it so they will sell it automatically at 13. I'm talking about limit. Then you'll make the other, um, then you make the $2 a share by how many shares you have and you'll be able to control how much money that you make that way. If it doesn't get to the sell price, it won't sell. So limit order, limit order. As I said, I have two shares of ORC on a limit order of 590. That should make the dividend yield higher than 13. Uh, peace out. Live long and prosper. Have a jolly good day. And as a lot of Americans say, God bless America.